Hello everyone and welcome back for another edition of 8 Minutes with Aaron. I am of course your host Aaron and today we are going to go over those brand new juicy Dragon Ball GT Pops that are coming out shortly and we need to go over the list. So let's get rolling with a fresh edition of this guy right here, Aaron. When you talk about Dragon Ball GT, you can either go to one side of the spectrum or another side. One being that you loved it, one being that you hated it, and maybe in the middle you never even saw it. Or never even heard about it. Well, Dragon Ball GT was a saga in Dragon Ball, and it came after the Buu Saga, and it was not part of Aruka Toriyama's dream. He did not have any collaboration on this, it was a different studio, and they put out, in my opinion, a, a pretty good sequel to Dragon Ball Z. We got Super Saiyan 4 Goku, we got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, we got the Black Star Dragon Balls, we got Trunks and Goten as adults, even though they didn't even fuse once in that whole gosh darn saga into their fusion form, fusion, ha, into Gotenks, no Gotenks. So they are coming out finally with Dragon Ball GT Funko Pops, and they are acknowledging how amazing some of it was. So let's go over some of them so I don't waste any time. The first one they're coming out with is an Entertainment Earth exclusive, which is a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, Goku in this version is a child because in this version, in Dragon Ball GT, Pilaf wished him to be a little kid, and that was the whole point of the whole saga. They needed the Black Star Dragon Balls to wish him back to being an adult. But when he turned Super Saiyan 4, he actually was an adult. So it was really weird. Then... They are coming out with a baby Vegeta. Now, they're saying baby Vegeta, but it's baby Vegeta. It's B-E-B-I. It's baby Vegeta. It is when the uh, truffle something, the truffle thingy got into Vegeta's head and made him all husky and shit like that. And then Vegeta started taking over the planet. Every time he would fight somebody, it was kind of like uh, how Boo would absorb you. He would basically just take over your mind and pwn you. He did take over Gohan and Goten and Trunks. He did not get Pan, no Pan, and did not get Goku, of course. And, of course, Goku triumphantly beat him as Super Saiyan 4 mode. But what, 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 what can happen? Super Saiyan 4 beats all, right? All right, and then another exclusive, because those two are Entertainment Earth, is a GameStop exclusive, which is Goku with a Kamehameha wave. No, I think he's just charging it like this. Uh, all these exclusives, I'm not going to go out and buy these right away. They will be on the Funko Shop site eventually, and that is when I will pick them up. After those three exclusives, they're coming out with a couple commons. And we all love commons, right? And these commons that they're coming out with are pretty snazzy. They are coming out, which even though in this list it doesn't say anything about it, they are coming out with a Go 10 as a teen Funko Pop. That's right. Goten, who has stopped training like an ass clown, and is like hitting on all the girls. If you watch Dragon Ball GT, he was a little pimp. And then who else do we have? Oh, I think there's a regular version of Goku as a kid. Now, I'm looking at some of these pictures on this list, and I'm not really digging them. I think it's Goku like flying in the air, but it's not. it didn't even list Goten as a, a character as the Funko Pops. But in the picture, I remember seeing him. So, there's a Goku, and I don't think he has a Kamehameha. It's just Goku going like, Hey, I'm Goku! And then we have, of course, there's Trunks. Trunks is coming out with... Why do they call him Gil? His name is Gero, Gero. That, that, that's why I thought his name was Gero. Gero, what are you doing? Come in! Now, I have to tell you something. When I watched Dragon Ball GT, I watched it subbed. You know I like my anime and my... Japanese cartoons subbed. I don't like the English versions. Now, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, you know, Dragon Ball Super, yes, I can take in the English because I kind of grew up with that. But, 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 when Dragon Ball GT came out, it was not in America. My pops took me to the, and what's it called, the armory, and we had to buy, you know, bootleg shit, and that's how I watched Dragon Ball GT. I you knew who else I'd watch Dragon Ball GT with? Chris Aderman, that's right. I watched Dragon Ball GT with my buddy Chris Aderman. He was a huge Dragon Ball GT fan just like me. And uh, yeah, we watched it. It was really cool. I don't know what that kid's doing now, but I hope he's doing all right. And I know we're skipping around, but yeah, they're coming out with Trunks with Giro. Giro, Giro, 
quiero, quiero. He was basically like a Dragon Ball detector. He was a robot, and he ate the detector, so then Pan's like, yo, you gotta come with us. And then Giro, that some bitch, turned on Pan and Goku and Trunks. But, you know, he, he's, you know, he apologized and said, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that. I'm so sorry, guys, I shouldn't have done that. He was like Alpha 5, like, ay, 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 I shouldn't have done that. Uh, but yeah, Giro, Giro, was cool. That's, that's how I remember him. <laughs> Giro, 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 Giro. That probably isn't what he said. Yeah, it probably wasn't. Uh, they are coming out with a pan Funko Pop. Who was waiting on that bad boy? Not me. But of course, in conjunction with Dragon Ball GT, it's only proper that you come out with a pan. Pan was a very big part of Dragon Ball GT. She, of course, went with Trunks and Goku to all the various galaxies and planets to try to get the Black Star Dragon Balls. Which are kind of null and void now that you have in Dragon Ball Super, the Super Dragon Balls. Insane. It's insane in the membrane. I don't even know what the hell I was talking about prior to this. Oh yeah, Pan. Because at the end of the whole series, they did a little, you know, years later, and Pan was an old grandma, and she was taking care of her grandchild, uh, Goku, and shit like that. So it was, it was pretty cool. And then we have, of course, the last one is Bula, baby! Bula, Bula, Bula! No, Bula is Bra, or, uh, what's her name? The, the kid that Vegeta had. Bulma? Brief? No. Is it Bula? Maybe it was Bula. I don't know what her name was. It's, wait, Trunks and... Uh-uh. Maybe it was Bula. I don't know. I can't, I can't... I, I don't remember anymore. It's been that long. And even though Vegeta just had the kid in Dragon Ball Super, I don't even know that name either. Uh, but yeah, her, she's in it. She really doesn't do much. She doesn't train. She's just like a, a, a replica of Bulma. Vegeta just loves her because it's his daughter and shit like that. And I think that's all. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Almost forgot the last Funko Pop that they're coming out with. And that's my boy Vegeta and his little, like, crew cut spiked hair. Got a cut, which is really strange because Saiyan's hair, you can't really cut it whatever length it is, that was the whole thing of it. Like, Gohan could cut his hair because he was half human. Goku and Vegeta, on the other hand, can't cut their hair because they're Saiyans. Their hair always stays the same way. So I don't know really what happened with Vegeta. Maybe, yeah, uh, Bulma created an invention or some shit like that. But, of course, it's freaking pimp-ass Vegeta with his arms crossed with his jacket on, looking like he's grease lightning and shit like that. Now, I'm just going to give one preliminary... Oh! And of course, you know me, I love my Dragon Ball Z, I love my Dragon Ball, I love my Dragon Ball Super, and of course, I love my Dragon Ball GT. And why is that? Because we got to see Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. And anywhere where Vegeta is progressing and being a badass is definitely getting up in my book. So these Dragon Ball GT Funko Bops, you are getting it up! That's right, you are all getting it up! My name is Aaron. Thank you for joining me with 8 Minutes with Aaron. I hope you enjoyed yourself and you are ready and raring to go for these Dragon Ball GT Funko Pops. I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave down in the comments what you want to see, what you don't want to see, and I will get back to you on the next episode. See you later, folks. Bye-bye.